Hello, you all. Um, I'm back on here to make another video. Um, I know it's the light fixture that's in here that you can barely see my the light. But I just thank God. Um, you know, as I was making my video earlier, I just began to listen to praise music because people don't understand that God is coming. You know, this because things don't come to pass when we speak about it. That don't mean God's not for to do it. I say that just because they have people that's praying, like myself, out here in this world, that's praying against the storms that's coming our way. We begging and pleading with God to have mercy on this world. That's why a lot of things not coming to pass when we talk about it. It's because we got prayer warriors that's out there praying to stop what God's doing. God said when two or three are gathered together in his name, he will hear from us. We had a power to stop things. And sometimes we don't. It's out of our hands. Because God is in control. And God allowed things to happen. And we can't stop it. Because judgment is already on the United States of America. And as you look every day in the news, so much stuff is going on. And people say, well, it's killing every day. Well, it's earthquakes every day. No, it's getting worse. Earthquakes while it's cold outside. Read Matthew 24 and speak about how they're going to have earthquakes in unknown places. Places that never even much had earthquakes. And you know, so many people putting their focus on a man and behind a girl. And not even much focus on God. A lot of people not getting blessed because they keep putting their mouth on God's children. Or they keep on disobeying God. Being dis uh, I can't think of the word I want to say, but being disobedient. You're coming against God's children. You're talking about them. Actually, you're letting the devil use you as a, um, a puppet. The devil uses a puppet. He's sitting back. He know how to get to your weak spots. He know how to make you mad. He know how to bring the old you out. I mean, he know everything about you. You know, so all he's doing is sitting back and just laughing at you and say, look, I got another lost soul and laughing. You know, you know, that's not you. You know, you're not a bad person. You know, you're not an evil person, but the devil want to make you seem that you crazy, but you really not crazy. You got negative stuff coming in your mind. That's not of God. That's the enemy trying to feed through your thoughts. And the enemy wait till you get to the trials or you're going through something in your life telling you to give up. You're not going to be nothing. Nobody ain't going to be there for you. Nobody going to be by your side. You, Your mom already told you you're not going to be nothing when you grew up. I mean, that's not of God. That's negative spirits. God is not about confusion. And I tell people to stay away from ungodly people. Stay away from corrupted people. Because ungodly people is not for you. You got to ask God to put spiritual people in your life who are going to uplift you. Not talk about you when you're down and out. Everybody's not your friend. Stop saying that. I have been knowing them since the first grade. I don't keep knowing them since pre-K. Everybody's not your friend. People are seasonal in your life. Churches are seasonal in your life. Stop going to church because your family been going there. No, churches are seasonal. You can't grow in a dead church. You have to be spiritually in a church. You have to be hungry for God's word in a church. How can you hear what's going on when you have so much confusion in your ears? You can't much hear from God and God been telling you the whole time. Stay away from this person. Stay away from them. But no, you want to do what you want to do. And then when things start falling apart, you want to get on your knees and cry out to God. I should have run by my first mind. I should have listened to God. Yes, you should listen to God. And you know, there are so many people that's lost in this world and going through things in their life. And they want to know where God is at. See, at times, we leave God's side. 
But God is so good. God will never leave us or forsake us. God will allow things to happen in our life to get our attention. God will bring you to rock bottom to let you know who he is. Stop saying man did this. Man do nothing for you but gave you a headache. Gave you a broken heart. See, so many people depend on man more than they can depend on God. They put all their trust in man but can't put their trust in God. But soon things start falling apart in your life, who you call on? I hope it's God. And it's only one God. All this religion stuff, I don't believe. No, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. But guess what? My God is a forgiving God. My God is a healer. My God is a deliverer. I have time to take out every day to talk to God. I'm a praying woman of God. I pray for my family. A praying family going to stay together. I pray for others. I pray so much for other people and I forget about praying for myself. I tell people, you may know my name, but you don't know my story. You don't know the journey I had to get through why the way I'm at right now. And I say this, this is my season. I didn't been through some things in my life. But guess what? What God got for me, what doors open for me, no man can't shut. I don't care what nobody say, what nobody think about me. When God in his words, out his mouth said, don't worry about your enemies. I will take care of them. So the same people who laugh and giggle and talked about me, said I was never going to be nothing, have a seat and watch how God bless me in your face. I ain't got to show you what I got. People need to start showing the God in them. How can somebody see you and you walking around here with a dead fruit? Fake. God said, he, you can tell the fruits. I can tell the real fruits from the rotten fruit. And I see so many rotten fruits around me on Facebook rotten. You ain't got to prove to nobody that you saved but yourself and to God. I write these scriptures every day. Half of y'all not even living by the scriptures. Who you trying to prove to? You can't prove nothing to me. All you got to prove is to God who you are. You got to prove to no man that you save. You have a choice each and every day. Heaven or hell, that's your choice. But I pray that you make the right choice. I pray that you stop living in that sinful, that dirty life. And come to God and repent and get your life right. Stop worrying about what your friends may think about you. Your friends not worried about you. If they was, they'll be telling you. It's time to get right with God. I'm tired of running from God. I'm tired of running from my calling. I can't do this by myself. I need God by my side. Don't be embarrassed. Repent. Surrender to God and you'll feel much better. Cry out to God. Don't be ashamed. So I just come on here for a while because this video don't let me put so much on here. So I'm just telling you all, don't give up. Keep the faith. Remove these dead people out your life. God put people in your life for a reason. And the ones he putting in your life, you keep kicking them to the side. For these ungodly people who don't care nothing about you. Who are speaking negative in your life. So may God bless you. Keep your head up and stay strong. Because God is with you. And go along things that happen in your life to see can you trust him. Through all your storms and trials and tribulations in your life. God is with you. All you got to do is call on God's name and watch how fast he come to your rescue. Be blessed. I love you all. I know it took a while for me to make videos about having things going on in my life as well. But I always keep y'all in prayers. Be blessed.